Welcome back to Bible Shorts, Episode 90, Ezekiel and the Dry Bones. We've been learning about the fall of Jerusalem and how in successive deportations, many people were taken to the land of the Babylonians, a lot of them to a place near Babylon itself. So now we're going to learn about a priest from the temple called Ezekiel, who is one of those exiles. And how did God call him to be his prophet? Now, Ezekiel tells us, in my 30th year, in the fourth month on the fifth day, when I was among the exiles by the Kibar River in the land of the Babylonians, the heavens were opened and I saw visions of God. I looked, and I saw a windstorm coming out of the north, an immense cloud with flashing lightning and surrounded by brilliant light. In the center of the light there was a fire that looked like glowing metal, and in the fire was what looked like four living creatures. In appearance, their form was human, but each of them had four faces and four wings. Under their wings, they had human hands. As I looked at the living creatures, I saw a wheel on the ground beside each creature with its four faces. Each appeared to be made like a wheel intersecting a wheel. As they moved, they would go in any one of the four directions the creatures faced. The wheels did not change direction as the creatures went. Their rims were high and awesome, and all four rims were full of eyes all around. I did not understand what these creatures were spread out above the heads of the living creatures was what looked something like a vault, sparkling like crystal and awesome. When the creatures moved, I heard the sound of their wings, like the roar of rushing waters, like the voice of the Almighty, like the tumult of an army. Then there came a voice from above the vault over their heads, Above the vault was what looked like a throne, and high above on the throne was the figure like that of a man. I saw that from what appeared to be his waist up, he looked like glowing metal as if full of fire, and from there down he looked like fire, and brilliant light surrounded him like the appearance of a rainbow in the clouds on a rainy day, so was the radiance around them. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. When I saw it, I fell face down, and I heard the voice of one speak, and he said to me, Son of man, I am sending you to the Israelites. You must speak my words to them, whether they listen or fail to listen, for they are rebellious. Now, Open your mouth and eat what I give you. Then I looked, and I saw a hand stretched out to me. In it was a scroll, which he unrolled before me. On both sides of it were written words of lament and mourning and woe. And he said to me, Son of man, eat this scroll I am giving you and fill your stomach with it. Then go and speak to the people of Israel. So I opened my mouth and I ate it, and it tasted as sweet as honey in my mouth. Then I heard a loud rumbling sound as the glory of the Lord rose from the place where it was standing. It was the sound of the wings of the living creatures brushing against each other and the sound of the wheels beside them, a loud rumbling sound. The Spirit then lifted me up and took me away. I came to the exiles 
who lived near the Kibar River. And there, where they were living, I sat among them, deeply distressed. Then, in the twelfth year of our exile, in the tenth month, on the fifth day, a man who had escaped from Jerusalem came to me and said, The city has fallen. And we all mourned. We mourned by the rivers of Babylon. And I told them the written words of lament and mourning and woe that I had read on the scroll. One day the hand of the Lord came upon me, and he brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord and set me in the middle of a valley. It was full of bones. He led me back and forth among them, and I saw a great many bones on the floor of the valley, bones that were very dry. He asked me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I said, Sovereign Lord, you alone know. Then he said to me, Prophesy to these bones, and say to them, Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says to these bones. I will make breath enter you, and you will come to life. I will attach tendons to you and make flesh come upon you and cover you with skin. I will put breath in you, and you will come to life. Then you will know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I was prophesying, there was a noise, a rattling sound, and the bones came together, bone to bone. I looked, and tendons and flesh appeared on them, and skin covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, Prophesy to the breath, prophesy, son of man, and say to it, This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Come, breath, come from the four winds and breathe into these slain that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and breath entered them. They came to life and stood up on their feet, a vast army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the people of Israel. They say, Our bones are dried up, and our hope is gone. We are cut off. Therefore prophesy and say to them, This is what the Sovereign Lord says, My people, I am going to bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you, my people, will know that I am the Lord. I will put my spirit in you, and you will live, and I will settle you in your own land. Then you will know that I, the Lord, have spoken, and that I have done it, declares the Lord. And Ezekiel does just that. He tells the exiles that God has not abandoned them. God is still with them. God loves them. And they are going to be able to go back to Israel, but not just yet. So what story is next? We're going to zoom forward around 70 years when that return begins to happen. Look for Bible Shorts, Episode 91, The Persians Defeat the Babylonians.